Hi everyone, this is a bit of a, an impromptu Facebook Live. I am just uh, just met for a coffee with one of my good friends, Valerie. Hello. So, thank you for saying hello. <laughs> and she has just been sharing with me some really cool results that she has had. Well, not just her, but two people that she shared my book with. And while I'm on this kind of final push to get downloads for the Vitality Secret 2.0, I wanted to just ask her if she can just jump on quickly. So, Valerie, thank you for doing this randomly in a coffee shop. Uh, yeah, fun place. Yeah. So, uh, can you can you tell people what kind of results you had? Okay, sure. Well, first of all, let me really express my intense um, appreciation for you in that you have been blessed with a certain gift and talent that is mind-numbing and mesmerizing, and oh. I was blessed to meet you and to then learn about everything that you do. And I'm like a big advocate of everyone has been given their God-given gifts and talents, and then to maximize them and to help others is the key, and that's exactly what you do. So oh, that in thank itself, you for saying that. I just have to say, I didn't, I didn't prompt her didn't, to say that. <laughs> he, she, he didn't know that was coming because I just speak the truth, and this is what's the yeah. key: is the authenticity quotient to everything in life, and that's what's so marvelous about what you do. It's based in authenticity oh, and intelligence, of course. So that's the real magic behind all this, too. Not Thank to you. mention physical results that are fabulous. Yeah, we did, we met in a bar, by the way, at one of these uh, <laughs> dance evenings, and uh, we just got talking. It's quite random. Oh gosh, that's through... right. I yeah, was just gonna <laughs> say, wait, where did we meet? And now I'm remembering. It was, yeah. and it, but it was so organic and so right. Talking of organic, yes. Right, no, yeah. but it was, and it, it was. It was, it was like... totally just got talking randomly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and this phenomenal conversation. Nonetheless. So, in the interest of concentration spans being very short, <laughs> mine, <laughs> mine included, but not right now. I'm talking about viewers. Uh, can you share a bit about what kind of results you had? Yeah, so I've always been generally pretty healthy my whole life, but what Neil had in his book when I read it, cover to cover almost, and it was one sitting to be honest with you, the fact is it was so vital, so inspiring that I put into place many of the concepts that he talked about, and in my journey, I was sleeping so much better. I had never been sleeping. I would, If I did sleep, I'd wake up at three every night, so my sleeping was nourished and deep and wonderful and my skin started f glowing to the point where it would belie the fact that I wasn't using some massive products or going to plastic surgeons or whatever and, and it just started glowing and people, strangers and friends, everybody would notice. And then wow. thirdly, yeah, it was amazing. And just the general overall lack of like inflammation that I would feel, people were like, oh, do you lost so much weight or whatever? I'm like, I don't lose pounds, but you know, thank okay. you. And it's like, I didn't, I didn't have to, you know, I was a normal weight for my size and everything, but I didn't have to lose weight necessarily, but I looked 30% smaller, just as like there was no inflammation. And I, and I mean, not to be weird, but just like everything, circulation and like, you know, assimilation of nutrients and then, you know, all the other processes of a body, like, were just flawlessly in line. Made better. Brilliant. And you don't realize I love how this kind of stuff. rewarding, you know, you know, little things can be in life until, like, then you're not dealing with them anymore. And then going back to the whole thing of the authenticity and doing our gifts and talents, for me, it allowed me to pursue my music even more and, like, the associations I would have were more vital and things started happening in a very interesting way, like mm. qualitative life things versus just even the quantitative thing of like, oh yeah, my blood pressure was better, my heart felt better, like everything felt better. My skin was glowing. And then like this qualitative aspect of life was so much better, which then that's helped amazing. my that's business. Like a, that's a ripple effect, mm -hmm. kind of like a ripple effect, isn't it? What happens when your energy improves? Yeah. Excuse me. Any chance you could turn the volume down a tiny bit for like two minutes? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Um, uh, it just suddenly got really loud. It, it, it got loud. Well, it just got loud. Um, it's funny when you said about how we met. I'm like, oh my god, that's right. It was like a dance place. I'm like, what did we do? We just like, like yeah, I know. Completely connected. It's cool. It was cool. So that's awesome. So your energy's improved and you're attracting more awesome stuff, which is brilliant. Can well, you, like, and not even having to exert more effort than what should be normal. You know, I'm following, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling more like me. That's, yeah, this is awesome. It's like a byproduct of what happens when you raise your energy levels, you know, which often happens when we take medications and stuff, the energy goes down and all this kind of stuff. But you know what's neat so. too, is that it's almost like at this like, um, 
like it's like this magnetic effect on others like I, I feel like even just strangers in elevators or people who all smile at everybody and they smile back and it's like our hearts are like it's like your hearts are connecting up with more human beings and stuff and I know that sounds so esoteric but there was this sort of like the vitality factor I was feeling really was coming to fruition in everyday life whether it be in the line at a movie theater or in an elevator and it could be an 80 year old that's sitting in his wheelchair in an elevator at you know cedar side in a house but i'm like don't you look dapper today and he's like thank you very much or a woman that i looked at when she was emptying the garbage cans at the subway in new york city and i saw her from behind and i turned around and looked her in the face i'm like thank you for making this place as beautiful as you are and she just like stood up taller and happier and and it's just the truth like i didn't manipulate that comment it just came out of me and i wow. feel like at a cellular level i feel so much better and it's making my life so much better wow. and then when the hurdles come your way which they all do i've been able to handle the hurdles better too and i've had a lot of hurdles yeah sounds like you have that's incredible um, I don't. I want to talk more about this, but I also want to talk about the results you just told me about. With um, no, I didn't know about that, but uh, these two other people you mentioned, mm -hmm. one of whom has uh, or had a child with eczema, or mm -hmm. has a child who did have eczema. Mm -hmm. What happened with them? So this child I've watched for six years, and we would be at her brother's baseball games, and my son would play baseball with her brother, and the mom would never be around. And I'm like, huh? where did you go? And she goes, oh, so and so has eczema. Her daughter she would have to disappear to handle the child because this eczema was so horrific in everyday life situations, whether she be at the supermarket or her son's baseball game or whatever, she was dealing with this horrific eczema problem for years. I've known her for seven years now, but I mean, this started happening like four years ago when I met her, where I saw the damaging effects of this skin disease on their lifestyle. Wow. Anyway, net net of it is, Neil and I meet, I tell her, about the remedy of his plan of action on things like eczema and it was as though within easily four weeks and maybe six weeks at the most this child has now a normal lifestyle the family is relieved of this burden of this massive eczema problem that was changing their lifestyle and the child is so much happier she's thriving in school she's thriving in her social circumstances she's not you know self-conscious about it and it's been an amazing turnaround yeah. so that was one in particular I loved hearing this because this is why I do what I do it's uh that that kind of feedback is incredible it's, it's changed, just, helping change lives yeah that's um, it it's just the truth yeah and I witnessed it as an outsider you know a peripheral friend and everything that would see them you know like again at schools at baseball games and whatnot but then the mom's always gone with the daughter trying to protect her from the effects of this horrific eczema wow another fella who's this masterfully you know strong athlete his whole life and then as he got into his mid-40s he started really slipping and not doing as much exercise still looked great but not as vital as he had been I gave him your book and I kept noticing it on the bookshelf still the spine wasn't broken the pages weren't rumpled when you read your book it becomes like a recipe book you like devour it and you keep it and you go back and you refer time and time again and uh, so I know that book was not touched. Anyway, net net of it is all of a sudden he read it and I noticed that he read it and I could see this change in him attitudinally where all of a sudden he's, um, he's going down the gym in the, in the building that he lives at. He's doing 100 sit-ups every morning. Then he's doing 200 sit-ups every morning. And you know, he's telling me this, I'm not witnessing it necessarily, but then I do witness that he's starting to bike. And then he bikes further. And then every Sunday now he gets a friend and they bike together. So then. Socially, it became better that he started seeing people more because he was getting a little isolated. And now, he's in the most, like, he looks like a 30-year-old and he's probably mid-50s. And, and his body is, like, so strong. He's so vital. He's eating healthy. I want to meet him. Oh, you can. Yeah. Easy. Um, and he will credit, you know, reading your book and getting inspired to see the logic, see the power, and see the, again, vitality of living in a body that's as fruitful and maximized as it possibly can be because of wow. healthy eating and healthy lifestyle wow and he bikes like sunday afternoon sunday mornings they leave at six i think i think they get back at four these guys it's Incredible. amazing and it's just i think he's extended his life cycle because i didn't tell you this but the problem was he was starting to get high blood pressure mm. completely averted seriously uh-huh high blood pressure gone yeah. Yeah. You know, mid That's, mid forties, yeah. 
early 50s kind of guy. I mean, maybe that's the thing that happens. I don't know. But genetically speaking, he it, also had it, it. It can happen with age, but it's not a sign of aging. That no. Makes sense. Yeah, it's a sign right. of chronic inflammation. Right, right, yeah. right. Right, yeah. right, right. And again, that inflammation thing, like as a pianist, I have more agility in my hands now too because my hands aren't all puffy and like they felt so, I felt puffy, you know what I mean? Wow. And like that lack of like puffiness or pressure inside your body is what's so cool about it. Everything Incredible. makes total sense. The frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Love that. Keep Such loyal people. That. Yeah. Um, amazing. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you for sharing. You're and welcome. You just shared with me loads of new information, which is really cool. Yeah, I know. I just kind of yeah. threw you yeah. a lot. But Thank whatever. You. I'm I'm into that authenticity quotient, and you are amazing in how you help so many people. So thank you. Thank you. Do you want to give a shout out for what you do? Singer? Oh, yeah. I'm a singer or a songwriter. You know. Yeah. No, Where I'm, can they find you? Um, Val23Clifford at gmail.com Okay, Val23Clifford at gmail.com <laughs> I do, yeah, I love my music and yeah. I write a lot. And, I mean, if, I have a and if there's a website, I can share that afterwards. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'll get the website. We're working on a new website. My partner and I, we're doing a female, a women to women kind of show um, podcast okay. pretty soon. And we don't, um, and uh, it's called... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on there, people. Ready? It's called My New Breast Friend. <laughs> Genius. As in B-R-E-A-S-T. So, yeah. yeah, it's about women and women supporting each other versus eviscerating each other. So, mm. yeah. And awesome. A lot of that. Yeah, it's called. So, you'll be looking for that soon, I hope. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you for watching, everyone. And uh, I'd like to invite you to get your copy of the second edition of The Vitality Secret. I've got until 12 p.m. Pacific, Saturday the 1st of December, to get at least 100 pre-orders, and your support would be amazing. Uh, this is gonna be way more than nutrition, lifestyle, and psychology. This is about going deep into the mind-body connection, alleviating your body of stress and trauma, uh, the power of belief, the, uh, the power of the emotions over the cell, the quality of your cells and throughout your body. There's a huge amount of science now coming through about the quality of our emotions, and it, there's an emotional scale about how the emotions affect the pharmacy of chemicals inside your own body. So all this stuff, kind of stuff, plus more, and medicinal cannabis, there's, there's loads more stuff going into it, basically. So I'd like to invite you now to get your copy because it's gonna be pretty powerful, even if I do say so myself. Fabulous. Yeah. So exciting. Thank I you, can't Valerie. wait. I have my copy. I'm reading it tonight. Nice. <laughs> you know, it's not written yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing. <laughs> Thank you.